Hello, everybody. This is the Sofa King. And, oh, oh, God, that does not taste like the real thing. So, actually, I've been looking at the new SpongeBob game that's coming out fairly recently. The new Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And I was looking at the game, and I was trying to look up some more information. And I actually stumbled across an old channel I used to watch. Does anybody remember CGR Undertow? That was run by Derek Buck. Man, that's one channel I actually really miss. Both him and Mark from Classic Game Room. Vanished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Man, those intros really take me back. I remember watching Mark and Derek every day after high school, seeing their new reviews on whatever video game they were playing. You know, I just, the reason why I'm bringing them up is because I actually found Derek's old SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated review. And man, it just, man, it reminded me of the good times I had with that channel watching their videos. You know, their humor was always very funny and they were very informative reviews too. You know, I remember uh, one of my favorite reviews from Derek is where he actually reviewed Mass Effect 3 for the Wii U back when I had a Wii U. And he was telling me that the game was actually really good because a lot of people were saying the game was bad because of the ending. But he straight up said, look, man, the gameplay is top notch. And oh, my goodness, was he right? If it wasn't for him, I would have never played Mass Effect 3 and continue to long the days when we could get the Mass Effect trilogy ported to Switch. And then there's Mark, the big man himself, the guy who started Classic Game Room. Man, I love watching his videos too. I remember he would always come in as Atari fanboy or Sega fanboy Mark and just gush over whatever system or game he's talking about. He didn't really like Nintendo so much, which, you know, you can like whatever you want. But I always just found it funny. He was like, Sega is always better than Nintendo, even though Nintendo is still making consoles and Sega isn't. But, you know, different strokes for different folks. I would always remember Mark saying, Welcome to the R Zone! When he wore that stupid Tiger R Zone thing, which is honestly a giant piece of crap. But he found a way to make the video funny, even though the thing is complete trash. And I always admired him for that. Enter the zone! The R Zone! You know, I honestly just find it sad that both of them have left YouTube, you know? Even though I keep badgering Derek on Twitter to just make a new channel and just, you know, just do it in his free time. But uh, I don't think he really wants to do that anymore. I think he's like teaching at some kind of university or something like that. I don't really know. Usually if I wanted the Nintendo stuff, I went to Derek because, you know, Mark doesn't like Nintendo too much. But, you know, I miss both of them. And I wish Derek would freaking tweet back at me. But whatever, he doesn't have to. It's not up to him. But, you know, I just miss the old days of Classic Game Room. It just brought me back, you know, gave me a little bit of a nostalgic bump when I saw that review. And I, I saw a few more, you know, I saw the Wind Waker HD review from Derek. And I saw Mark's <laughs> Truxton Arcade Cabinet review because, God, that guy just loves Truxton. I mean, I'm probably out of the age range to really care about another old shoot 'em up, but still, I mean, I like Galaga. That's that's my favorite shoot 'em up. So yeah, I just really miss the humor and the reviews of these guys, especially now that we're in the Nintendo Switch era. Like, we need a we would really like need a channel like that to just it would just give us the straight six minute review on all the games coming out on Nintendo Switch. It really makes me miss them, but, you know, I certainly hope both of them are doing fine in whatever they're doing, and I hope, you know, someday, maybe, they could come back to YouTube, or, hell, maybe be on, you know, some kind of podcast, get interviewed. I know Derek was on a podcast recently. I haven't got a chance to look at it. 
but uh, I hope both of them can come back in some form. You know, even just as a hobby. You don't have to, you know, be super special and come out with a video every day like they were doing before. But, you know, just occasionally, you know, hey, say, hey, check out this game I found on the Switch and check out this old game on Sega Genesis. And let's jump back into the R zone while I beat you over the head with a game com. <laughs> Oh, Mark, you always made me laugh when you beat Derek up with a game comp. The Zone! The Zone has many mysteries! And magic contained within the R-Zone! You, you are now in the R-Zone. Oops. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk about Classic Game Room because their videos will always be timeless. Certainly hope you enjoyed listening. If you liked the video, you know, hit the like button, hit subscribe for, you know, whenever I have time to make another video. And I'll see everybody in the next one. Take care.